good day and welcome and uh, this is my first video of two on my camp kitchen um, thank you for joining me today film okay this is my camper trailer this is where the kitchen lives in the front one of the issues with the kitchen is uh, to work out exactly where you put it one of the problems I had with my kitchen was I didn't know whether to cut the side of the actual camper out which would weaken the camper or to find somewhere else so I decided to put it under under the wings it's part of that as well I had to put a battery system in so I put the put my battery system in um, well my son did with um, all the fittings and the fuses um, with a kill switch so I can turn the switch off and on and once I do it lights up to say that everything is working and ready to go um, I've got outlets as well for that um, all over the place I've also put in a uh, 60 litre tank underneath um, which uh, when I put the kitchen in because of the weight of the kitchen I had the counter react that way so I put the, um, the water tank in um, underneath uh, and put a cover of checker plate over it so that um, it was still high enough to go forward driving and it was um, able to um, give me some water in my kitchen area uh, with the pump alright so what I'll do is I'll get my um, young fellas that help me assist me uh, they'll pull the kitchen out and we'll just see what it uh, looks like and how I built it all right you want to come over Tristan Brandon and just um, lift the, the latch and before you unlock it I'll just come in close and show you that there's a, a latch system do you want to just lift that up for us Brandon and and uh, Tristan and just pull it out a little bit okay so pull the kitchen out okay now the roll of the kitchen's on. Now just stand away for a second fellas, we'll just get some photos of that. Um, the, the kitchen is actually on a, a system where we're using bearings, you can see the bearing there. It's just like the old slide drawers in the filing cabinets and things like that. It's on a, it's all steel frame, uh, which means it can take a lot of weight. And um, I'll go inside and show you how we did that. But um, yeah, if you just want to pull out one of the drawers at the top. Yeah, the, these catches have the catch on the bottom and uh, we keep all of our plates and things in there um, it's a, the drawers are all made out of timber uh, with sliders on the, on the side which I bought on eBay which were quite cheap we'll just shut that one up and we'll open this one the same again once again all the knives and forks and stuff um, it also has the um, the protective rubber around so no one gets cut or hurt same with the um, bottom drawer with all your cups in it and the other one with all your knives and forks and things so that's pretty much how the drawers all work so this one's got four drawers plus an extra um, an extra area for under the sink where we keep all our stuff where the sink bowl comes through um, and that's all good I actually rolled my trailer when I was on the Unidata track and uh, all this stuff stayed in place which was pretty incredible we've also got our sink um, there with the water so we just lift the tap up and if I can get the boys to put the bucket underneath I'll just turn the tap on and show you how the pump works just put it underneath the middle of the sink there for us that's it yep that's fine yep and I'll turn the tap on and, and you have running water uh, which hasn't run for, for a while we haven't used that trailer and the sink fill up and go straight through to the bucket so that's how our one <laughs> that's how our, our sink works and our and I'll I'll just turn that off and fold him down again and we'll go through and I'll show you from the other side um, what what it looks like. Okay, so we keep our cooking gear under here as well because there's a, a bit of a distance from the rail because I had to get it level. Um, this has all been bolted in very strongly to the front wing box um, and we've used angle line and then we've used the um, the bearings. I'll just try and get a close up of that for you. You can see how the bearings run very neatly inside the angle line. Um, we picked the bearings that were the right size for it. So basically it's four bearings, two on the front and two on the on the actual sliding in and out. The ones on the front are fixed there and that's where the um, that's where it actually stops when you pull it out as well but it's a really good system and it can hold a lot of weight so it's very good I've got these points as well so that when I want to hook the fridge up I can just hook them into that 
I've got several of these all over the camper van which of course use these lights here uh, which I made as well um, I got bought these from eBay for a couple of dollars for all the lights on the inside and I got the um, the actual frames from Jcar. I've seen other people make them up out of things like tubing from Bunnings and that where they put the lights inside the tubing and then seal them off. We also carry our U-Butte in here. We mostly use our U-Butte. When we're in North Queensland the U-Butte's fine. I found that when we went down through the Simpson Desert and other places the U-Butte didn't work because um, once it gets below a certain temperature the bottles just don't these bottles here just don't um, they don't throw the gas out. It's too cold. All right, um, that's about it with, our, um, with the way I built this. This is made once again from um, the same thing I've made my uh, drawers for the four-wheel drive out of. It's all made out of one, in, one inch by one inch um, aluminium. Uh, it is quite light, probably only weighs about uh, 15 or, or 20 kilos at the most. Um, also has a spot up the front here which I didn't show you before, which is just for putting it like a pantry area, uh, which sits in there. And that just locks down and yeah it's a very effective kitchen it works really well i'm really happy with it um, the handles on the end i also use to hang the tea towels and things like that off and i fill the sink up um, with stuff when we're traveling so that it's no wasted space there and uh yeah all right that's about it thanks for watching this uh dvd and thanks for requesting it okay we'll see you later Uh, the camp kitchen is uh, made up of one inch by in one inch box, uh, the same as what the drawers on the four-wheel drive are. Um, it's using the same system with the easy join. Um, you don't need quite as meant much um, box section on the kitchen. Um, and it probably cost me all up about $400 with the, the pumps and the sink and all the fittings and um, everything that we put in. It is freestanding. It can hold a lot of weight. Um, if you were lean on it, I think the trailer would probably even tip over before the kitchen would give way. The steel um, tracks that it's put in are, are very strong and I do think when I did the rollover it did protect us. I will put pictures of the rollover on my next DVD at the end. Okay, thanks for watching again.